If you haven't heard the news, the NHL Gaming World Championships have been put on pause for the foreseeable future. I wanted to give my thoughts on the situation. I've played in nine different LAN events organized by NHL. Obviously, I have my thoughts. I want to share to you guys why this happened and kind of talk about the future of the tournament. Let's start from the beginning. NHL announced the World Championships back in NHL 18 and they came in pretty huge. 100,000 dollar prize pool, land finals for Europeans, Americans and Canadians, world finals in Vegas. This was massive. Before this the community only had smaller tournaments and all of a sudden to have a tournament with a 100k prize pool was crazy. The first two years seemed to go solid. Uh, first year it was run in online versus, obviously yours truly <laughs> won the tournament. Second year the tournament went to hot, turned a bit more into a pay to win competition. But overall the first two years felt like a success, esports was booming, broadcast quality was insane, experience for the players was even better. Who knows how much the tournament really had views, but looking at YouTube videos, highlights from the tournament from those first two years felt like people were interested in what's going on. You know, first time people are seeing NHL being played at competitively with uh, big prize pools. Of course, it's, you know, interesting. The third year was supposed to be even bigger. Prize pool increased by 50,000. There was supposed to be nine players qualified to the world finals instead of six. Everything seemed like it was going up. And I've heard rumors that around this time NHL was working on a league. An esports NHL league where every NHL team would have its own representative. I don't know how true that rumor is, but COVID came, kind of destroyed everything uh, going on. That year's tournament was played online. Again, just looking at the YouTube views highlights, it got pretty decent amount of viewers. I feel like NHL 21 was the year where the world championship started taking a dip. So NHL made a multi-year contract with DreamHack to organize the gaming world championships. After DreamHack came in, the tournament took a step back, in my opinion. The broadcast quality took a step back, in my opinion. All of a the sudden, there were ridiculous rules put in place for players. We weren't allowed to use headphones in 22, 23 and 24. What? 2023 was the worst experience I've personally had in the Gaming World Championships. We played the European Championships in the middle of the mall, World Championships in a truck outside Nashville in crazy heat. We didn't get any time to practice. It wasn't a competitive experience. And after 23, I felt like this tournament might not go on for that much longer. It felt like there was less interest in the game and the tournament. And yeah, obviously this year the tournament stopped. It was organized a bit better, but still not ideal. So what's the reason we're in this situation? In my opinion, first of all, the game just needs to be better. In 1v1 NHL, the CPUs are really stupid. There are similar goals every year, which people abuse, obviously for the viewers and for the players. It's not that enjoyable. First couple of years did get interest. Probably because, you know, it was the first time this tournament was organized. First time people were playing for massive amounts of money in a game of NHL. But after people saw what competitive play is like, for a lot of people it's not that enjoyable to watch. The games, to be honest, have gotten worse as well. Then Dreamer came in. I feel like budgets might have gone down. And honestly, esports in general before COVID was really, really popping in any in every esports. And maybe after COVID, it's not been quite on the same wave up. But what needs to happen for the World Championships to come back successful in the future? The game just needs to be better. Dreamhack, in my opinion, didn't do a good job. Also, just better formats in general. World champs have always been like single elimination from the qualifiers onwards. After the first year, we've been using our hot teams to qualify. And you need to play every day or spend a lot of money to even have a shot in competing. It's not really competitive enough, in my opinion. It's actually really interesting to see what will happen to hot now that we don't have the world championships. But that's a topic for another video. Maybe NHL esports is better in another game mode. Maybe try a 2v2, maybe a 6v6. I think 1v1 could be successful, but 
the CPUs need to be better and the game needs to be uh, less repetitive. My final point, the marketing in the tournament has been awful for years as well. There's very little posts on socials to promote the tournament and the posts that they do make are pretty boring. There was a year when DreamHack and NHL flew me to play NHL players to promote the competition. I played around 20 NHL players, there was so much good content and they posted like two short videos of the whole thing. Like it makes no sense in this current day and age, marketing is everything for any event. That's my thoughts. Honestly, um, my career started from the world champs. Dude, without NHL organizing this tournament, I wouldn't be playing NHL for a living. I, I wouldn't be a content creator. I would have not have had so many amazing experiences in different parts of the world. It's a shame, but yeah, the tournament being canceled for now, it's not a shock for me. I really wish the NHL Gaming World Championships will come back stronger than ever. And I have a feeling it will come back at some point. And more likely than not, I will be competing in it as well. But yeah, interesting to see what will happen in the future. Thank you everybody for watching. Let me know in the comments about your thoughts regarding the whole situation. Have a great day and see you next time.